Hey guys, I'm Jared Littner here out at a local lake and I have a privilege of being with Dan Thornburg here. He's the product lure manager for Shimano and Jackal and he brought me some of these baits, this swim bait deal here, it's called a Gantrel. And first day I've ever thrown it and I'm really, really impressed. It swims really, I mean, it's, it's got the best swimming action I've ever seen in, in a hard swim bait like this. And some other cool features that I noticed right off the bat was these, these are rotating. So in other words, when you hook a fish on this, you're not fighting against, you know, you have less opportunity to lose that fish. And the other thing I noticed was this little stinger. I mean, you could put a little trap hook there or what have you. Some really cool stuff, but w what are some other things that, like I said, it's the first time I've ever seen it? Well, it's got swivels on the hooks, just like you talked about, and it's got a swivel on the line tie. So what we found with these baits, the larger bluegill profile baits, is the bass can actually use the leverage against you. Right. So by eliminating any possible binding point, you can have a better catch ratio. Not only that, it won't, I mean, it won't tangle your line or yeah, it won't wrap tangle, up and it'll just twist, you know. Um, the other cool thing is you can actually tie it on different ways and, and fish it differently. So if you tie it on the nose, these little side fins act like a diving bill. It gets it to run down about three feet. Cool. If you tie it on the chin, it will run subsurface. And Sweet. You can also attach a weight to it, sink it down if you want to fish it on the bed during the spawn, or if you want to get the bait down deeper, say the fish are in 12, 15 feet of water, whatever. So you can adjust the weight and get the bait where you want it and kind of keep it in that strike zone. So when you said subsurface, were you talking more of like a wake, wake yeah. type? Yeah, just, just right below the surface. Okay. You know, maybe three inches below the surface. Sweet, man. Well, I really like this color. What what? What else we got going on? Yeah, we're shad have, colors or we're anything? We're gonna have a shad color, a baby bass, several different bluegill patterns. You know, this particular color, I think will work well to mimic a perch, it can make a crappie. So you got a bunch of different forage for bass, you know, you can kind of imitate with one bait. Cool. You know, another thing I noticed when I was throwing it for the first time is you'd be whining it, whining it, whining it, and you give the hard, or give the rod a hard twitch and it'll actually 360 on itself yep. and kind of stare back into the into a fish's face. Exactly. And we all know they can't stand that. Yeah, especially when you get those followers. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's big time trigger mechanism. But I'm taking a couple of these, right? Yes, sir. I'm allowed to keep a couple for yes, Hartwell sir. for the Classic because I can see that doing some damage as well as, you know, we got some trips planned to Clear Lake and the Delta and things like that. That's going to be a, a huge factor in the success. But uh, anyway, I'm going to have them in my arsenal. You guys better check them out and load your boxes up. Available at Tackle Warehouse today. Big old crawdaddy. Your tackle. Better fish? I don't know. Thanks, he's caught a fish.